Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 21 video. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a Clemson theme team. I did an Alabama, an Ohio State, and an LSU, and I did a speed rebuild with Baller TV. Make sure you go check them out. Big shout out to him. So if you guys aren't familiar with the rules, here is what they are. Everyone on my team has to be from Clemson. I can only draft players from Clemson. There's no free agency. I turn the salary cap off so that way we can re-sign everybody for the fun of it, and we have to rebuild the team within three years. So this took a long time to set up, so if you guys could like and or subscribe i would definitely definitely appreciate it and once again i'm bringing you guys another one of these comment down below which team you would like me to do next i'll probably do michigan state if not something else so let's get to the team so this is the overlook of the team and do keep in mind there will be fill-in players like because we can't fill in all 53 players of the roster with just clemson for every single position it may make it a little bit hard but i'm starting deshaun watson over trevor lawrence he just has a higher overall receiving core is great o-line and tight end is horrendously bad if i missed a player also by the way do not freak out in the comments there are filler players from other colleges just because we can't fill up everybody and also if i missed a player or two don't be like oh my god you can't believe you missed them no don't worry about it this is only if they graduated from clemson as well I'm not doing it if they showed up to Clemson for like a year. So anyways, guys, let's get to the midseason. Here we are at the midseason mark coming off a win to the Tennessee Titans as we are on the bye week and looking into it. We are 6-2, and two, top of the division. That is surprising considering how terrible our offensive line is and how bad our secondary is really with our linebacking gore. Sammy Watkins and all these other guys here, I will resign. The CPU signed Mitchell Schwartz. Obviously, he is from California. He didn't go to Clemson. Again, that's an example of a filler player that the CPU will sign. I have no control over it. So I'll resign them off camera and get to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a loss to the Ravens as we are 9-7 here to face the 8-8 eight eight Jacksonville Jaguars. So that's cool. Second division behind the 10-6 Cleveland Browns. Looking to the stats, Deshaun Watson was met. Pretty good in touchdowns, not so good in yards. 13th best offense, 28th best defense. How do we make the playoffs? 3,900 yards, 32 TDs, 8 interceptions, solid. Travis Etienne had a solid rookie year, and uh, Wayne Galliman had 11 TDs, surprisingly. Receiving Lee T. Higgins, 1,000 yards, 6 TDs. DeAndre Hopkins had 13 TDs and 876 yards. Mackenzie Alexander with the most tackles on team tackles for a loss. 11 for Grady Jarrett. Sacks on team. 10 and a half for Grady Jarrett and receptions. 5 for Trayvon Mullen. That's surprising. Safeties on team is going to be 1 for Grady Jarrett and defensive touchdowns is 0. So overall, not a bad season. The defense looked a lot better than a 28th best defense, but I guess the CPU determines that. So let's see if we can beat the 8 and 8 Jaguars. And we can. Okay. You're going to face the Patriots now. Let's see if we can beat them to move on to the conference championship because, you know, this is the theme team rebuild, and obviously same rules apply. It's just like a regular rebuild, almost like them. But still, we beat the Patriots here to face the 8-8 Baltimore Ravens. I always hop into the conference championship games and the Super Bowl games. So anyways, guys, let's move into it. Here we are against the Baltimore Ravens, as I'm just going to hop in for one game, and I'm just going to toss that up. Yeah, nothing's going to really happen, and I think I'm just going to hop back into simulation. I'll try one more play here, because I usually just spam Y-Stick down the field, and if you spam Y-Stick against the computer, it basically guarantees the win. I usually do this a lot. I used to do it in my Willow franchise series, but then I got boring. Yeah, you can just do tight end attack, Y-Stick, and just half back dive all up the field and destroy, so that's why I stopped doing that in my Willow franchise and all my other rebuilds. So, we're just going to simulate the rest of this Ravens game. I don't want to make it like too annoying for you guys throughout that gameplay. So 24 to 21 so far, and that's going to be the end of the game as we beat the Ravens 24 to 21. And I guess it's time to move into the Super Bowl. Here we are in the Super Bowl here to face the 11 and five uh, Green Bay Packers as we are nine and seven. Makes no sense how we made it this far, 9-7. and seven. But still, Deshaun Watson, obviously, here. And there's no upgrades from what I can see offensively. T. Higgins is still a hidden dev, which is obviously star. I'm surprised he didn't get enough reps, like 500 uh, snaps, for him to unlock his ability. But defensively, Vic Beasley Jr. now has star dev. He's going to regress anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And Trayvon Mullen now has star dev. I didn't know he was that young. I thought the dude was a lot older. So anyways, guys, um, that it's time to hop into the Super Bowl matchup against the Green Bay Packers to see if we can win year one. Here we are against the Green Bay Packers as it is 7-7 in the second quarter, 10-7 against the Packers. Very low scoring game entering the third quarter, and it's just a back and forth game right now. Nobody's really scoring, just punts, 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 punts. Okay, 17-7, 14-17, and that's going to be your game as the Bengals Clemson theme team wins in year one. 
Wow, okay. Uh, we were 9-7 and seven and actually did that. That is very surprising. But okay, let's get to the MVP. Your Super Bowl MVP is Travis Etienne. 21 carries, 84 yards, 1 TD, and 10 was his longest reception. Uh, not longest reception, longest rush, my bad. So let's just move into the offseason. So we already have a challenge completed in year one. I guess it's not really a challenge considering salary cap is off and we get like an absolute crap ton of receivers stacked. But we don't have an offensive line, which surprisingly won us the Super Bowl. But I guess offensive line doesn't affect simulation that much. But I guess it also does because Deshaun Watson's stats weren't that great. Retirements, no, no Bengals retired, so that's good to see. And looking into the re-signings here, everyone here yeah i don't need to resign these three guys i'm not going to because they're not clemson players but if we happen to pick them up in free agency again that won't be my fault the cpu will automatically sign them so looking into it this is what we look like offensively pretty good in the draft obviously need to focus on offensive line top tier and everything else is good it's gonna be really hard finding specific clemson players in the draft so let's get to it here we are in the draft, picking up a defensive end who we definitely don't need. It was just the first one that I saw with a first-round talent. So this is my selection. So this is the team after the draft as we really did nothing after the draft. I'm going to change this tight end to Jordan Leggett, the only uh, tight end from Clemson that we have, I believe. And also everyone else here I don't really care about. Yeah, he's a third-string left end, my first-round pick. So I guess the draft is kind of useless to us, and we are not allowed to use free agency, but it's okay with me. So anyways, guys, it is time to move into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are coming off a win to the Pittsburgh Steelers. So we are 1-6. Okay, bottom of the division. Went from 9-7 Super Bowl champs to 1-6. That makes a lot of sense. I'll resign these guys off camera or just in the offseason. It doesn't really matter to me. So I guess I'll just do that later in the offseason. So anyways, guys, on that, it is time to move into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs, not making the playoffs. No surprise there. Coming off a win to the Texans as we finish three, no, not three, six and ten. I don't know why. I almost said three and 13. But still, Deshaun Watson did horrible. 27th best offense, 29th best defense. I can't blame him with that offensive line. 3,400 yards, 26 TDs, 11 interceptions. Travis Etienne was solid, not really great. DeAndre Hopkins, not many touchdowns, not really in general anyone good. Isaiah Simmons, 102 tackles. Tackles for a loss is going to be 3, 13 for DJ Reader. Sacks, 9.5 for Dexter Lawrence. Interceptions is 5 for Trayvon Mullen. And safeties on the team is going to be zero. And offensive touchdowns on the team is going to be zero. So anyways, guys, um, that, I would say it's time to move in to the offseason, I believe. Yeah, not the draft, offseason. Here we are in the draft as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers lost to the Colts in the Super Bowl. Zach Wilson wins league MVP. And Russell Wilson wins Offensive Player of the Year and all those other awards. But still, as a Bengals-themed team, Clemson-themed team, whatever you want to call it. It's not Bengals-themed team. Clemson-themed team. Uh, we're looking pretty good overall, but everyone else here, I don't need to resign. I just don't, uh, or I'll just do that off camera, actually. Never mind. I'll do it off camera. I do need to resign Mike Williams. I don't know why I was blanking on that. I'll just do that off camera because you guys don't want to see me uh, skyrocket their contracts because contracts don't matter in this since ca uh, salary cap is off as long as they're from Clemson. That's what matters. Dorian O'Daniel also has start ev, and that's really all I can see. And I'm going to start uh, Terrell. Who was that Terrell something, that free safety? I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get in the draft, and here we are in the draft. What I mean by that, weird intro. Either way, got a halfback. That's all there is to say, really. So I got a halfback because the CPU kept signing a third and fourth string halfback that didn't go to Clemson. That was the best player available. That's It's very weird to see not very many Clemson players in the draft. Very, very weird. Trayvon Mullen here, superstar dev. And I didn't notice that before, but I guess I'm noticing that now. So anyways, guys, it's time to move into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark. And keep in mind, this is the final season of this rebuild as we are, what is that, three and four. Okay, maybe you could have a good comeback on the season. Grady Jarrett and all these other players here, I don't need to resign even off camera because it is the final season. So anyways, guys, let's get to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a loss to the Browns as we didn't make the playoffs. Turning 3-13, and 13. we went from 3-4 and four to 3-13. and 13. We had a massive losing streak, 18th best offense in the league, 31st best defense, okay. Deshaun, 4,000 yards, 29 TDs, 15 interceptions is too much. 
Travis Etienne, three TDs with 1,000 yards at least. Meh. Receiving yards, Mike Williams, almost 1,000 yards, eight TDs. Good ball distribution, though, overall. Defensively, looking into it, BJ Goodson, 114 tackles. Tackles for a loss is going to be 12 for Grady Jarrett. Sacks on the team is going to be 6.5 for Grady Jarrett. Interceptions is going to be 3 for Trayvon Mullen. And safeties on the team is going to be zero and defensive touchdowns on the team is going to be zero so anyways guys that is going to be for this uh episode or rebuild or whatever you want to call it theme team rebuild for clemson i know it seems underwhelming there's only three seasons you can't really do anything whenever there's no free agency and you have an extremely and i mean extremely limited draft and everything's supposed to be clemson themes but it still was a successful rebuild because we won the super bowl in year one it was very surprising and baller tv knows how hard it is to rebuild this team you would say because he lost in a speedy rebuild to me year one but anyways guys apart from that i thank you guys all for watching and apart from that i'll see you guys all in the next one